All right, today we're going to apply percents in the form of sales tax and discounts. You can see our objectives here. We're going to calculate the sales tax when we buy an item. Uh, and we're also going to find out how much money is saved when there's a discounted item. First of all, let's go to sales tax here. Um, what it is is it's uh, money collected by local and federal government uh, when you purchase something. And usually sales tax is a certain percentage, usually in the range of 4 to 6, 7 percent. Um, and it's not too difficult to calculate it. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to take the percentage and change that percentage to a decimal. We're then going to take that decimal and multiply it times the cost of the item. And then, of course, since we're dealing with money, we need to round our answers to the hundredths place, uh, which is the penny place. So let's look at example one here. We're going to buy this beautiful dog. The dog costs $495, and we're buying this dog in a county where the sales tax rate is 5.5%. And we need to find out how much we're going to pay in tax. So job number one, we're going to take that percentage and change it into a decimal. So 5 and 5 tenths percent uh, is equivalent to 55 thousandths. Uh, we're then going to take that 55 thousandths times the cost of the dog, and then we get a result of 27.225. Um, and then, of course, we're going to round that because we're dealing with money, and that would be our tax for buying this dog. Now, if we wanted to find the total cost, of course, we would add the tax to the original price of the dog, but right now we're just concerned with finding out how much we're, we're going to pay in tax. So let's try a couple more examples of calculating tax. All right, uh, number one here, the box of Tootsie Pops costs $19.99. Um, our tax rate is 6%. So job number one, as always, change that percentage into a decimal, then apply that decimal to the cost of the Tootsie Pops, which is $19.99. We're multiplying that. And then, of course, since we're dealing with money, we need to round to the hundredths place, which in this case rounds to $1.20. So we'd pay $1.20 in tax on top of the $19.99. All right, let's try the scooter problem here. We're buying a scooter, very nice looking scooter, for $27.50. Um, the tax rate is 5.75%. So job number one, again, is to change our percentage into a decimal. We're then going to apply that decimal to the original cost of the scooter, which is $2,750. Uh, that gives us a result of 158.125, and then we're going to round to the hundredths place because we're dealing with money. It's very common to round to the hundredths place when you're dealing with money. Okay, so that is sales tax. Now, discounts Discounts are something we'd like to get because we're going to save money. Now, a discount is an amount of money that we're going to take off of the original price of an item. So much like finding tax, we're going to convert our percent to a decimal. That's step one. We're then going to apply that decimal or multiply that decimal um, by the original price of the item. And then we're going to round to the hundredths place because we're dealing with money. So for example one here, we're going to buy some shoes. Um, the good thing is they've been marked 35% off. That is our discount. We just want to see how much real money that um, converts to. So if the original price of the shoes was $64.99, how much are we going to save? So job number one, change your percent to a decimal. We're then going to multiply that decimal times the price of the shoes. And then, of course, we're going to round to the hundredths place because that's what you do when you're dealing with money. So our discount is $22.75. Now, once again, we're just finding the amount of money that we're saving. We're not actually getting the um, sales price. If we were, we'd be subtracting our discount from the original price. Let's try a couple more of these. Uh, we're going to buy this green drill here. Its uh, original price is $99.98, um, but today there's a sale. We're going to save 30%. So what we're going to do to calculate our savings is change that decimal to, a, or, or, I'm sorry, change that percent to a decimal and then apply it towards our price of the drill, and then we're going to round to the hundredths place. So we're going to save $29.99 on that drill because it's 30% off today and that's a good deal. 
All right, and then for the guitar, same idea. We're going to take our percentage off, which is 25%, change it to its decimal equivalent. We're then going to multiply that decimal equivalent times the original price of the guitar, and we're going to find that our savings are $497. And that's how you calculate tax and discounts. Thanks for watching.